Discussions in my classes are a useful tool available to both students and instructors to allow discussion boards to be created that both students and teachers can contribute to. To access discussions, click the Discussions tab on the left-hand side navigation menu. At the top of the Discussions page are the pinned discussions. These are discussions that the teacher wants to highlight by pinning them at the top. Under the Discussions tab are the current open discussions. Then at the bottom are previous discussions that are closed for further replies. Within an individual discussion topic, you will notice the main topic as well as the discussions toolbar at the top of the page. Each discussion will show the initial replies for that post with an indicator when there are discussions embedded within each reply. When participants respond to a discussion prompt, newer posts will show at the top automatically. But by using the sort function within the toolbar, the user can switch from seeing the oldest or newest post first, depending on their preference. Additionally, reply posts can be marked as read or unread based on the user's need to retain or remove notifications. Depending on the settings set by your instructor for a specific discussion, you may have to reply to the discussion before being able to see replies made by others. Under each response to a discussion prompt, you will notice an option to reply. One replying to another's response on a post, a discussion thread is made underneath the original reply. Next to the reply option, you will see a number indicating how many replies were made to that particular discussion post. By clicking that number, the discussion thread will pop up on the right hand side of the screen displaying the original response as well as all of the replies to it. Additionally, by selecting the quote function underneath one of these replies, you can quote someone else's reply and respond to it directly. For more information regarding discussions, please visit the IDND YouTube channel.